it's never too late for change. And um, I'm seeing some changes around here, and I have to say, I'm, you know, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Pretty early today. I think I'm doing good. It is almost 8:30. I'm not up because I want to be up. Of course, I was woken up. I had a blood draw today. Well, this morning we were. Me and the doctor was doing good. But today she came in here real early. She like, did I wake you up? Am I too early? You and I already came in here. Don't come in. So I just stayed up and I'm just waiting for my nurse to come in. She came in earlier, but you know, she has come give me my medicine. She should be coming in about 20 minutes or maybe even sooner than that. I had to braid up my hair yesterday, last night. So I just, I'm doing that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hurting. I took something at like five something in the morning. I'm gonna have to talk to my doctors about Another pain, um, another pain regimen. I don't know. Yeah, my nurse is still not here yet, but they've sent some doctors around. I've told them about the line issue. Nobody know yet, so I don't know. But I'm watching this documentary, and um, it's about Nigerians scamming people. You know, like the romance scammers. This one Nigerian they giving this interview to we just doing something to me and I told myself like I don't know when I was watching these documentaries I'm like uh I can't date a foreigner like I just can't and that's the conclusion I came up with watching these documentaries not just ones about Nigerians but the ones about Indians and Chinese and all that like I said, you know, I'm going to just have to date somebody American because I don't know. But I told myself, you know, and then y'all know, I talked to one Nigerian guy. Anyway, so it was him. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to see, like, if they got his information or something listed so I can contact him, send him an email or something. I, I, you know, I don't know. I'll leave with this woman and have a better life. You understand? Yeah, I'm nice smile. Mm. He can live by me. I never would have guessed that a story Two wives. mixed up by a scammer somewhere here in Nigeria. Ain't gonna be your third wife. Right. Genuine relationship. I your last night. Why did you? How did you fall? Um, I feel between the and What? Yes. Loving you on my blog. Oh, tell her her jeans cute. What? She on? What they talking about your jeans was cute and you need to be in my videos more and. Uh. <laughs> like my face looking, they thought I ain't looking makeup on too. I ain't no face or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, really? Yes. <laughs> I'm shaking. You can go read what they say under the comments. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look and see what my damn phone's gonna hang up. I'm thinking I get right away. Today, it is 12:05. I don't. I'm barely getting dressed. Lord, I'm playing. Okay. Okay, I did persuade my mom to bring me some hot things. Some tights. Let me show y'all where she bleached my stuff in. Yeah, this is my new pink stuff. It's all bleached. Bleached. Um. <clears throat> bleached. I got my hot things. What? Mom, why you didn't? Why you didn't get your own food? I don't know. Uh-uh. 
What's that? Have these. Oh, I don't want that. Take these to work. Don't y'all got a microwave? <laughs> I don't want that. Chicken strips. Yeah. You can take that. Um, I think I got some ketchup. <laughs> Over there. Mama, why you? Cause one no, gonna turn to go into three. One gonna turn to three. This for now, later. Oh, that's a lot. I got sixteen. Oh, no wonder it was six. I'm like sixteen dollars. Let me show y'all my hot wings. Oh, mmm. And I got a soda to go down. Are you finish? Come on. Do y'all hear the drill going? So they having a drill, so I asked a good question. I'm like, how would I get out of here in case there's a fire? Because I want to know. It's That's interesting. Like, I know I can't make it out of here with, with no oxygen because my oxygen dropped like this. So... We, I'm all the way on the fifth floor. I can't run down the stairs. So, are y'all gonna roll me out of here on this bed or what? Like, I don't know. Yeah, she thinks this is the baby doll. I'm not. This, this is the real life baby. <laughs> we're not we know that's a real life baby but she think it's a dog no, I'm not. <laughs> this baby haven't cried once that's the kind of child I need <laughs> but but <laughs> my friend say she doesn't sleep <laughs> but she yeah she just took a cat nap maybe like five minutes and she up but she hasn't cried and she's She's smiling. She's a smile happy baby. <laughs> and now the funny thing is, what's the baby name? Eddie. <laughs> Y'all look at me and the baby. Look, she's so calm. She's just chilling. Amy. <laughs> God said, hey. <laughs> She's taking very good care of her god niece. This is her god niece. No, I'm her cousin. And her cousin. Which I'm asking. <laughs> Has left. And I actually did 30 minutes in the gym today. My tank's replaced. I'm gonna do some walking but I'm a little lightheaded so I'm actually waiting on my nurse it's got me wanting to pee but like I was saying they are making some changes and it's been good and I'm I'm kind of feeling good I'm happy okay let me use the restroom without speaking out there. I'm a little. Uh, well, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. And still lightheaded. So sometimes when they do the uh, Lasix, it makes me. When they give me the Lasix, it makes me a little lightheaded. Probably because they've taken off. Now it's taking off too much fluid. Lasix did help with my breathing. You know, I feel a little brother, better breathing wise and like, and like I'm able to get a little bit more done. They didn't, the other hospital, well they said the other hospital didn't tell them anything about the line. So tomorrow is going to be very interesting to see what's going to go on. Uh -huh. At the worst, we'll just have to go into my arm again and um, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to use the same spot usually not because it's already so sensitive but we'll see we'll see when tomorrow get here okay we can't be worried about tomorrow tomorrow ain't even here yet check yourself I always gotta check myself y'all I always I'm very happy that you know there are changes 
being done here and it's for the better of the patients and I like that. I like that. So corporate, if you're watching this, seeing. I see the changes and that's amazing. So keep it up. Keep it up, please. Don't slack, keep it up. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, okay? Yeah, so it's almost 5.30. My doctor just left. I feel like I haven't saw him in a long time. They rotate. So, um, cutting my oxygen down just a little bit. I was trying to do that little dance. Um, it didn't work out, so. I set my butt down. Ugh, your lungs, bad. You can't be doing all that dance. <laughs> so, which we hadn't saw each other in like a minute. And uh, telling him, he, I was telling him about, you know, them telling me that, you know, I need to choose between a facility. And so he was telling me that they usually have to talk to the doctors about that and nobody said anything to him. So we were just both kind of confused, but he told me don't worry about it. So I don't know, because if I move to a different facility, then nobody will be managing my care. And my um, diagnosis is actually now, um, actually before I was admitted into the hospital, they changed it to chronic lung failure. So, I just don't know how I would manage at a different location. You know, me being called for the transplant and my doctors have to continuously care because it's just like one day you can't breathe and the next day you can and you know they do all these treatments that kind of sort of help you to breathe in a little better so you can do a little more. It's just, it's been rough. Like, If I had an option to go back to like four liters of oxygen, I would take that. I would gladly take that four liters and go on by my life. <laughs> but huh, being on so much oxygen, and it's just like, it's exhausting within itself. And then, you know, having all of this stuff go on, like it's so exhausting. So exhausting. Anyways, I'm gonna end this early because I actually, tomorrow is Friday. So I actually wanna do my makeup and actually get dressed because it's my last appointment that I get to leave out the hospital. Hopefully um, next time I will be being transported because they will be calling me for some lungs. I wanna get dressed up for tomorrow and just you know so i'm gonna end it edit it and i'll be seeing y'all tomorrow okay hopefully i wake up feeling good i can do my makeup before i leave and it's all good it's all, it's all good anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow yeah and happy anniversary to my friend leslie girl I would sing for you, but I'm already out of breath. I'm gonna call you right back, mama. Okay. And her husband of 16 years. I think it's the 16th anniversary. I think my bad, I don't know, but that's love, okay? Hey. Uh, girl, do you know what today is? Hey. Victory will be no secret at the end of the day. Yes. Oh, anyways, happy anniversary. Good night. I love you guys. Peace.